Hey stars, welcome back to another video. So today in this video we are talking about a more serious topic. So this video is talking about the Animal Jam slash Animal Jam Play Wild community. Now everyone knows it is kind of dying and kind of getting toxic. Um, but in this video I'm going to be explaining how we can try make this community a better community. Okay, so number one is try to not focus on so much of the bad stuff about the community and focus on more of the positive stuff because if everyone does this, then no one will really care about the toxic stuff, you know? And if we can spread this to everyone, then everyone would be much happier and like the game. Number two, try to not get involved with drama. Drama is a really big thing in the community that makes the community die. A lot of people quit the Animal Jam slash Animal Jam Play Wild community because they are getting picked on maybe or they just can't take the drama anymore and they just want to leave it. A way to um, not like get into drama is just when someone tells you something sad or something or like they want support or something, don't type anything that you think would turn it the other way around. A lot of the time people can be really sensitive and you just have to keep that in your mind to always remember like, you don't like people take like people read things the other way around like you could say oh my pet rocket died as a joke and then the other person would be like hey don't joke about death that's not funny but then you were just joking about your pet rock let's say you know and people can be really sensitive so yeah number three remember that everyone on this game well at least most of the people are really young children probably from the ages of six to maybe 10 i would say is pretty young and then onwards would be 10 to let's say maybe like 15 i don't know something along those lines but a lot of the kids playing animal jam are really young so try to not lose your temper really fast because like you know kids will be kids and you know kids can be annoying you know number four and probably one of the most important rules do not scam or hack yes i know getting items in animal jam can be a really really tough journey and maybe you got scammed and you know just want to get back to where you were but do not scam or hack i beg you it is probably one of the most effective and most hurtful things that has ha that happens in the animal jam community see i was hacked once before um <laughs> multiple times actually by the same person but you know um here i am standing with curly antlers right now and trying to get archer hat it took me about Mm, okay well in total maybe more than half a year to get curly antlers and then i got scammed and then i have them again now and i've been playing animal jam for three years and a lot of people that have been playing animal jam for like a year have like a wind up keys but you know i'm not that lucky and don't compare yourself to other jammers like just because they started in like one week and already have an airplane tail or something do not compare yourself to them everyone works at their own pace and everyone gets busy sometimes or like you know it's just like, be patient, you know, like you will get there eventually, like it's, it's going to take a long time, but in, if you don't want to try trade and like get frustrated and stuff, then try doing other stuff like playing the mini games inside of Animal Jam, making new friends, and just one day you will get your dream item, trust me. Number five, I've talked about this one a bit, but try to occupy yourself with fun mini games in Animal Jam or something. Like, here are some things to do. Play mini games, decorate your den, hang out with awesome buddies, try make up these random crazy awesome looks. You know, there are a lot of things to do in Animal Jam apart from trading, and trading can be pretty draining. Try go on daily treasure hunts and have a goal, maybe like every single day for a week, do your treasure hunts. Like, I've been doing that and it's actually pretty fun. And you can also, like, like there is actually just, like, a lot to do. Just you have to be creative. Like, maybe make skits, even though you might not be good at it. I mean, you can still do it, and it's really fun. Maybe you can even start a YouTube channel. I mean, heck, I started a YouTube channel. That's why I'm here today. And, you know, like, having a YouTube channel isn't just about numbers or views or anything. I used to have, like, two subscribers. And... Look at me now, I have almost 300. Oh, people keep on subscribing, but uh, subscribe to me for a bit of support. Okay, so that was five tips on how to improve the Animal Jam community. I hope this helps to you guys, and hopefully you guys will share this video and let other jammers know so then everyone can make an impact and we can all have a great community. Also, just another thing to mention, every community has their downsides. Every community has their toxic sides. You just have to make sure you don't worry about that part and jam on. 
Anyways, if this video was helpful, please like and subscribe for more support and maybe like even more future videos like this. Comment down below any more ideas on how to make an impact on the community in a good way and I can maybe make a part two if I get some more ideas. Anyways, please like and subscribe like I said again <laughs> and I'll see you stars all in the next video. Jam on!